Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, this is how I am rejuvenating my holes for my cannabis. Okay, so this started off as a gray water experiment. As you can see, I've got a lot of gray water benefits going on out here. It's really kicking the soil off. So I had that over here. <laughs> I was like, oh, gee, <laughs> I wonder if I stick some cannabis plants in there. Well, it worked. But in that process, I had to build this fence because rabbits, rabbits ate like a third of that first gray water harvest. So now I had this infrastructure, right? It didn't have the tank. I added that. I added the upper part too. Um... And I dug these holes down to the, the top of the hard layer, right? I'll show that here. All right, now this hole and this hole I moved over closer here just to make it a little easier to get between because by the end of the season, there was, it was really hard to get in and out. It'll still be hard to get in between them, um, but you know, that's just one and then I can get over there and freely move around, right? So now what the goal of this here is, is to be able to just keep building on these mounds, right? So there's a hole under there and it's filled with this topsoil. Now this is all what you're looking at. I pulled back the wood chips and I've just top dressed all the holes, except I moved these. So these got moved and they got some extra topsoil. I bought a couple, but that was the most expensive part of this whole operation was that topsoil. So now, when I came and started this process this year, this was full of mushrooms, like crazy mycelium growth. As a matter of fact, we might even be able to just look at it. So there's the mushroom. Let's see if the mycelium is as obvious as it was. Yeah. This is how bad the soil is. So, like, nothing left in it. And that's what I'm trying to solve. Well, so we can't see the mycelium. What this is, is this is a little bit of anaerobic coffee tea. I say I have all my coffee grounds and I throw some of this type of stuff in there, but I don't bubble it. But I've had that sitting there for months and months and months. So I threw that in here and then a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetable stuff and a bag of basically like a, a kickstarter for this type of tea and a couple bags of <clears throat> flour meal or no feather meal excuse me so this is the first one and i'm gonna do a few of these buckets to get this soil that's underneath because everything underneath that is pretty bad because it just got completely depleted by last year so this one is focused on nitrogen and like all the crazy stuff that goes on but then I'll make another one of these that'll focus on the other nutrients the phosphorus and the potassium and then I'll make another one that'll focus on probably all the other nutrients, like the calcium, the magnesium, the sulfur, and then all the micronutrients. So, or maybe I might split that up into two or three. And the, the plan is to take this and I'll only get it down to a certain depth. I'm about ready to water. This has been cooking now for uh, two days.
Okay, so these all got five gallons of the tea. And that's still what I have left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it off with water in there. Boom. And then in about a couple weeks, I'm going to add a bunch of stuff to this. So this is just going to literally be sitting here away for a couple weeks and then it's gonna get some fancy stuff thrown into it and I'll do this entire process again. All right it's like March 10th. Uh, this is batch number three. So the first batch was just nitrogen and this other stuff the second batch was phosphorus P and the K, potassium and phosphorus, right? And then this one is this stuff here, which is basically like every micro thing that has a white. So now calcium and magnesium are, I think I'm gonna just add that to my weekly fertilizer routine and not worry about pounding it in. So I got these holes really dialed in now to for easy fertilization. So I just pour a gallon, 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 all around, around, around. And by the time I get to this one, this one's typically empty. Now what I'm doing differently this time is I'm, I started from a lower fill the bucket up that much. And now each time I get a scoop and you see there's a lot of goodies in that bucket. I'm mixing it up and then I'm getting this taking it, doing a scoop. Mixing it up, taking a scoop and then doing it. Opposed to just what I have been doing for the first two is just mixing this entirely and then going through and just mixing it once, right? So I'm mixing it know how many times I'm trying to get this down an equal even fertilization but then get this way down and to use up everything that's in there basically it's only been a couple days since I did this and it is definitely not soaking in as fast I did five gallons uh, two or three days ago and it soaked in but it's not soaking in that quick here so this is all the goods this one might be ready again I'm gonna actually leave these open until it starts to dry out a little bit get the rain directly down on to where the nutrients to take it down into the soil further is the concept because admittedly it is pretty heavy on the surface and this would have been ideal to do months ago so all winter it would have been taking it down but no well, this is the best I can do I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too hot by the time everything's going we'll see this here I took it down pretty low it was pretty thick so that's that's really a kick and the concept is actually like okay I'm getting the soil and then this year I'm going to do a lot more fertilizing so I'm concept is what I've been doing is just feeding the soil and then I'll put the plants in there and then I'll feed the soil even before the plants are really big enough I'll be just feeding the soil, feeding the soil, feeding the soil. So hopefully next year it won't be as degraded as it was this year. I mean, it was super bad. I mean, I had two plants die. <laughs> I mean, that, that pretty much says it all. It was so bad, I had plants dying, limbs just dying off the plant. So I had, that one had like the one that was in this spot here, one or two limbs just died off completely on top of that one completely dying and only one limb surviving on that one. 
So hopefully what I'm doing different this year is gonna give me full success. I lost a th third the first year to rabbits and thus the, the rabbit proof fencing. Then I lost a third the second year to inadequate fertilizing. So hopefully the third year is gonna be the charm and this is gonna be just the super, super, super duper. We will see. Oh, building up some really good stuff on the top of that now. Now I covered the holes with tarps so they wouldn't dry out because there's been no rain, but I'm gonna uncover them when it starts in and then do another soaking. Holes are looking good, a little drier than I'd prefer time of year but rocking subscribe to see how this all turns out and have a great day thank you for watching my video me thank you for